Is there some problem with your purchase? Oh, sure. May I see your receipt? Would you like to exchange it for a different item? Or do you want a cash refund? What? Okay, today's first sentence is really useful. Imagine that you've bought a product, but now you don't really want it anymore. You've changed your mind and want to get your money back. What should you say? I want to give this back? No, we don't say that. We say, I'd like to return this item. I'd like to return this item. Yes, instead of give back, we say return. This verb means 환불하다. Usually, if you take an item back to the store, there are two things you can do with it. One is to return the item, which we also call get a refund. A refund is when you return the product and get the money back that you paid for it. But the other thing we can do is exchange the item. If we exchange the item, we get another item of the same kind, just one that isn't dirty or broken or maybe is in a different color. So if you say, I'd like to return this item, some stores might tell you, you cannot return this item. You can only exchange it. Why don't you repeat that after me? I'd like to return this item. I'd like to return this item. I'd like to return this item. 토마세 여행 꿀팁 영어로 큰 숫자를 읽는 것은 조금 어려워요. 그래도 반드시 알아야 해요. 오늘 작은 작은 알려드릴게요. 자, 어떻게 읽어야 하죠? 일, 십, 백, 전, 만, 십만, 백만, 천만, 억. 영어는 어떻게 읽을까요? 거마 보이시죠? 거마대로 그나 읽는다고 생각하다면 돼요. Hundred, thousand, million. 그래서 이것은 a hundred million. 그럼 이거는요? 작은 작은 네. three million nine hundred and forty-seven thousand three hundred twenty-one. 잊지 마세요. 다음 시간에 만나요. Happy travels. 이 강의를 정주행하고 싶다면. 말하자닷컴으로 오세요.